In the last tutorial we looked at making a transition between the cartwheel and the flying spin kick and in this tutorial we are going to fix all the things that happened in the transition using layers. So first we need to see exactly what's wrong with the transition and then we'll go through different ways to fix it. So if I just zoom in a bit more closely so we can watch the transition in detail. It's obviously okay at the start. As we go through the yellow leg passes through the blue leg. The blue leg does a very odd twist. The leg bones rotate round one way and the foot rotates round the opposite way. So that needs to be fixed. We need to untwist that foot. Now if we look at the hands and the arms, they go straight through the body. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do one trick that will fix the arms and the yellow leg together and that is because in each one of these cases if I follow the position of that IK target through the blend that I'll put trajectories on if I follow that position you can see that the trajectory goes straight through the line of the body that's because it's running in IK mode and all it is doing is going literally step by step from the position it had in the cartwheel to the position it had in the spin, fly spin kick and it's taking the most direct route. So the simple way to fix that is we're going to put in a layer that where we're going to switch this to FK for the transition. And when it's in FK mode the arm will be driven by the shoulder and not by the IK target. So we need to create a new layer, a new world layer. I'm going to call this uh, FK Transition. And we're going to do this on both hands and on the yellow leg. So first thing, I'm going to select the arm so I'm going to go through to frame 57, which is where the transition starts. I'm just going to wiggle the FKIK blend slider there and keep it back to zero so it's still on IK. I'm going to go through to frame 72 where the trans transition ends. I'm going to give it another little wiggle. And again, this is stating that up until frame 55, the value is correct. And after frame 72, the value is correct. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from an IK arm to an FK arm uh, for the duration of that uh, transition. Now, in theory, you can switch directly from IK to FK within a single frame. So I could do the transition there. In fact, you get a slightly smoother result if you give it an extra frame. So I'm moving on to two frames. I'm going to slide this slider up to FK mode. And then I'm going to keep it at FK. See, it's sliding back at the moment because it's keyframed back towards the zero. I'm going to keep it in FK with a value of one until two frames before the end of the transition. And you can see now that the pink arm follows a much more natural shape through. And you can actually watch the pink IK target go through the middle of the body. And the arm is avoiding it because the arm is driven in FK mode. So I'm going to do that on the other arm as well. Select the other arm, uh, give the FKIK a wiggle there, go on to 72 to give it a wiggle there, and then inside the transition I'll slide it up to 1 for full FK and up to 1 again there so it stays at full FK through the transition and you can see the arms now follow a much more natural path. Now if you're keyframe animating with FK and IK, uh, like in one of my other tutorials, you need to be very careful to match the FK and IK. But because we brought the mocap data in, and we brought the mocap data in onto the IK targets and onto the arm bones, it is matched on every single frame. So we don't need to match it because it will automatically be matched when we get back to the end of the transition again. You can do the same on the leg. Start here. FK IK is zero. Up to frame 72 where the transition ends. Give that a wiggle again. And then 
two frames in, I'm going to turn it up to full FK, and two frames before the end, full FK as well. And you can see now that the, the foot takes a lot better path around the other leg now, much more natural. Go through the floor a bit, we'll fix that with a polish layer in a minute. Let's just have a look at that from the camera view in real time. Much better. So let's go back to perspective mode. Go back to our transition. Right, we're going to put on a world space layer to control that a little bit better as it goes through that transition. So let's select that. Uh, and put on a plus W layer and we'll call that untwist foot go to the start of transition at frame 57 set key there go to the end of the transition at frame 72 and put a set key there and what we're actually going to do if we watch this as it goes through you can see as the transition happens, the toes come towards us and the knee goes away from us. If we were looking at it from the top, the toes would be going in an anti-clockwise direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate them using the world coordinate system. I'm going to rotate them 360 degrees in a clockwise direction to cancel out the anti-clockwise rotation. I've got the angle snap on to help me get 360 degrees exactly. And uh, in a clockwise direction, it's going to be this way. So I'll just keep going around 360 degrees. Ooh, too far. Uh, and then you'll see that the foot goes exactly the same direction as the knee. Okay, we just need a little bit of polish now. We're going to polish the foot here, like I said before. Um, this is running in uh, FK mode when it does the transition. So I'm actually going to use the foot bone itself. And I'm going to put a plus L layer on. And again, go back to the beginning of the transition. Set the keyframe. End of the transition, set the keyframe. And then when it goes through the floor, I'll get to the worst position, which is about there. I'm literally just going to lift it up. I'll use local there to help me get the direction right. Lift it up so it's off the floor and see how that looks. Fine. Put a trajectory on. Follows a nice arc shape, which you'd expect from an FK. And that now doesn't intersect the floor. So we just need to rename that layer foot polish. And that's done. Now I did notice as we were going through there that there's a bit of the cartwheel which I didn't clean up very well. You can see there the pink arm and the yellow leg intersect. So I better quickly fix that as well. So I'm going to put on another local space layer and I'm going to call that arm intersection. I'm just going to rotate it out of the way as we go through the thing so uh, it starts to intersect there so by the time we get to that point in the cartwheel I need to have already moved it out of the way so I'm just going to go back a few frames earlier set a keyframe down for the arm at that point and come through to the point just there, just before it intersects, which is there. And I'm going to rotate it right out of the way, like so, a little bit more even. So as he goes over and does the cartwheel now, that arm gets out of the way. Okay. 
to copy my zero keyframe back over to this end. See how close it is? Oh, it's pretty close there. So just at that point, I'm also going to lift the arm up that way a little bit. Just to stop it intersecting there. Let's watch that in the camera view. Okay, there's one more bit of polish I want to do, and that's to do with the pelvis. So as the transition happens from round this way, you see the pelvis is actually to the left of the blue foot. Uh, and because he's spinning round, there's actually going to be a force coming inwards towards the centre of the spin, the centripetal acceleration, and that's going to pull him inwards. Uh, and this leg is bending the wrong way. He would actually fall on his bottom if he did that. So I'm going to make the pelvis come out this way more during that transition. So let's do that now. And create a new layer, a new world layer this time, because I'm going to move it across in world space. And I will call that pelvis trajectory. Start of the transition, put set key, end of the transition, put a set key, and in the middle, the worst position is probably there. I'm just going to move that to perspective view in the world coordinates so it's easy to pick up. I'm just going to move it this way. so that it always stays that side of the, of the foot. Just have a look at the trajectory of that. And I'm going to move it out a little bit there so it's a nice arc trajectory and move it in a little bit here, like so. That trajectory looks a bit better. Let's have a look at that in the camera view. 